just watch. It's another early morning. Every morning, every day of our lives, we have choices to make. You have the choice to stay in bed, to say, forget it, I'm not gonna work out today, or forget it, I'm not gonna work hard today. You always have a choice every single day of your life. So done today. No one cares what you did yesterday. You gotta change the dialogue. The yeah, used to be mentality doesn't work. What have you done today to better yourself? Today's another day. Today's another day that I'm faced with another choice to make. So I'm making the choice again to put my shoes on early in the morning and get acting again. Make the right decision. Well, some of you read that I think about when it's hot outside, that it's sunny and 70. Well, it's fucking not today. It's the reality if it's about 90 degrees and 100% humidity. But who gives a shit? That being said, September 3rd, I have to have my book turned in. And what I realized, I'm reading this book a lot. But I realized, I wasn't born this motherfucker. I made him. At the bottom of insecurities, fear, self-doubt, lies, was me buried in the fucking fetal position. How I got out of that was recognizing it, being honest with it, being truthful with it, and then fixing it. We like to live on social media with lies about ourselves, how great we are. Get to the source and fix the problem. I'm a big believer in doing something that sucks every single day of your life. I believe it's a key component and to strengthen your mind. Every day you're trying to find more of what you're capable of. And that's the big question. What are you capable of? Stop doing the things that you do every day. If you run every day, go swim. Flip the towel, one tire for a mile. It'll definitely build something. So, I'm all about cows in the mind. Do something that sucks. Don't get it twisted. It's not about flipping tires. I'm in Las Vegas right now and it's hot as shit. It's not about any of that. But what it is about is a lot of us give total control to life. We don't have any control of it. We just give all control to life. I do this shit every morning to prepare my mind for what life's gonna throw at me. A healthy body gives you a healthy mind. That's what it's about. So I just got back from a long run and what I realized for myself and for a lot of people is that life is one big tug of war between mediocrity and trying to find your best self. So there's tricks to all this crap in life. Life is one big head game. One trick in this situation is, so I didn't want to run, so what did I do? I figured out a couple of things. You have to sometimes let mediocrity think that you're giving into it. So I said, you know what, instead of going for a 20 miler, I'm just gonna go out for an easy six or seven. What that did in my brain was it said, okay, mediocrity thought it won. So it let loose a little bit. It let go of that, oh, this is gonna suck. This could be okay, it's not too bad. The second you get to mile two, guess what happens? Greatness pulls mediocrity in the fucking mud. Get out there and get after it. You wanna go in about the right mindset, the right gear. In combat, you wear body armor. But what we do wrong is we don't strengthen our minds. You gotta strengthen your mind, take control of that. So then when you get out in the real world and they fuck you up, you got protection. 
So I'm about 15 miles from home, and I, I often talk about taking souls. This morning, this person, I usually train alone. This person wanted to run with me. And I said, fine, we'll run 15. This morning comes, there's storms coming in this way, and the person calls and said, hey, why don't we do it tomorrow? Taking souls is when I told the motherfucker, I'm gonna run 15 today, and I'll run with you again tomorrow. That's what taking souls is about. Don't worry about the elements and what's going on. You gotta get out there and get it. He wasn't the only one that thought about taking the day off. Cause the storm is coming in right now, and there's not a soul out here but me. If you want to get better, do the shit that no one else wants to do. Do the shit that no one else is even thinking about doing. At the end of the day, hard work may not be enough. You still may fail. Just stay at it and go at it. things you can do get outside that zone that zone is that zone that makes you feel good the stronger your mind's gonna get it starts getting used to doing shit like this it's not fun my mind's used to it I run past a cemetery a lot at home and I run past a cemetery it saddens me because there's a lot of people there, not because they're dead, because of a lot of untapped potential. A lot of us die never tapping into our full potential. And I often look at wash rags when I'm wringing them out to hang them up as my soul. And I won't be satisfied until every drop of that wash rag, which is my soul, is completely wrung out. So in my life, I won't be satisfied until everything I have in me is completely out of me. And that's not be satisfied. If that doesn't wake you up, I don't know what will. Um, big shout out to David Goggins. Um, we can relate so much. All I'm gonna say is that stop running from your pain. Go through it. You go through it, there's going to be a thousand more lessons than if you didn't go through it. Um, and another thing is, don't be afraid to challenge your body. Don't be afraid to challenge your mind. You have to know what you're capable of. Push yourself towards your limits. And you'll get to wherever it is you want to be in life. Stay motivated, stay inspired, stay hungry, y'all. Peace.